I'm in the parking lot at Walmart, walking into the grocery store, and my phone rings, and my heart jumps, and I look down, and it's Elliot's school. I go running back to my car. I don't want to take this phone call in front of people, right? I go running back to the car, and I answer, hey, bud, hey, dad. And I think, this kid, he's acting normal. So, hey, dad, hey, bud, you know, um, earlier this morning when I dropped you off in that whole mask situation, uh, do you remember that? Yeah. Hey, I, I just wanted to let you know that I'm sorry, man. I apologize. I, I spoke so harshly towards you. It's not right. Um, will you forgive me? Get this. Yeah. Almost like he had already forgotten about it. You know what I mean? Like I had to remind him of the offense. And then the Lord spoke to me, how quickly do you? Yeah. Right? I mean, God's quick. Yeah. Forgive you. But we're like, mm, you're going to have to do this first. Now, I understand there's some significant situations that require boundaries, that require certain things to be put in place. But as a whole, I believe that we can probably be a lot quicker at extending the forgiveness. Right? Let's bow our heads. I've kind of got two questions for you. The first one is maybe you've never encountered the forgiveness of God. Maybe you don't have a relationship with him that came about as a result of forgiveness. Maybe your perspective of his forgiveness is that it requires something. And it does, but that price has already been paid through Jesus Christ. All we have to do is make the phone call and repent and turn our heart and allow him to be the Lord of our life so that we can live our life in honor of him. We've all messed up. Every single person in the world messed up. And he is more than ready and more than willing to extend his gracious forgiveness to you so that you can have a relationship with him. Maybe you've been trying to forgive somebody for a long, long, long time. And maybe you're not able to because you haven't encountered the full forgiveness of the Lord. If that's you, we wanna pray with you. We wanna partner with you as you start a new spiritual journey of honoring Christ with your life. And so, we're not gonna have you stand up, we're not gonna have you come forward, but what I do wanna ask you to do is just to lift your hand so that we can come next to you, talk with you, pray with you. Thank you, Jesus. The second part of this response time right here, first and foremost is, you know, forgiveness is a process even with God or from God because we might have to continually go to him and it might be for the same issue, it might be for different issues, but he's always ready and willing to extend forgiveness to his believers as well. This should be a practice that we have. So I'm not gonna ask for a show of hands, but I am gonna ask for you right now to open up your heart in your mind, and your ears, to the voice of the Holy Spirit, and allow him in his kindness to lead you to repentance. In his kindness, he will lead you to repentance. And just right there, it doesn't have to be a big deal doesn't have to be huge. All you have to do is say, Father, I'm sorry. Pinpoint it, be specific. I'm 
sorry for this. Will you forgive me? I repent of this. Will you forgive me? finding unity with the Father through forgiveness. Okay, second response. Maybe you need to extend forgiveness to another person. Or maybe you need to receive forgiveness from another person. We're gonna allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us again because again, sometimes our minds and our memories forget, but our hearts remember the hurt. And so we're gonna allow God to bring back to our minds the offense, either that we did or that somebody else did to us. And we're gonna allow the King of forgiveness to walk us through his process of forgiveness. Speak to your people today. Speak to your people today. Holy Spirit, reveal those things in our hearts, maybe from a long, long, long time ago, or maybe even as recent as this morning. Lord, let us operate in a culture of forgiveness. Let us be more ready to extend forgiveness than we are to pick up offense. Thank you for your healing today, God. Thank you for your healing. healing this morning? Did he bring some stuff to your mind to repent of? Either repent to him or repent to one another, right? The Lord desires his church to be in unity. The Lord desires his church to be a beautiful example of who he is and his heart to this culture, who is so desperately looking for unity, that, but they're just, they're finding it in all the wrong places. And instead of providing unity, it's actually causing disunity in our culture because we're getting polarized. But the church, I believe, under Jesus Christ can bring unity. First and foremost, you gotta start with yourself. You gotta start with your family. You gotta start with your church. And then the church can shine bright for Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen, amen. Hey, thank you guys for being here this morning. Um, we are, uh, just a reminder, this Wednesday, um, we're gonna be in here. We're all gathering together, um, and it's gonna be really fun, you guys. We've got three of our ministry team members who are each gonna have 10 minutes to share about three things that have to do with the Christmas story. And we're gonna have an air horn, so no one's going over there 10 minutes, all right? This week, I think, is uh, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. And so we're gonna talk 10 minutes on each one of those. It's gonna be fun. It's also gonna be, I think, powerful and um, help us really embrace the Christmas story. And then a week from today, Pastor Greg um, is gonna be here starting our Christmas series, um, practicing a heart of giving, the heart of giving. So looking forward to it. If you are a guest with us, we do just wanna say welcome. We're so glad that you're here. Um, there are two connection tables. One is out here in the main foyer and the other one is over here in the commons to my right, your left. And so um, we are gonna dismiss from front to back. Is that correct, Pastor Kelsey? 
Back to front, back to front. Okay, so again, thank you guys for being here. Our worship team is just gonna continue in song. Love you guys. Pastor Lewis will be back um, soon and I'm sure that he will love to see you guys. So bless you. Practice the culture of forgiveness. Amen? Amen.